Evaluating Informal English, a friendly guide. Hey there, language learners. Today, we'll explore a fascinating aspect of English language learning, evaluating the use of informal language. This will help you understand and assess informal writing samples and add a touch of realism and friendliness to your English writing. So, let's dive right in. Informal language is the way we speak with friends and family. It's casual, relaxed, and conversational. In writing, it often includes contractions, slang, and colloquial expressions. Example. Hey, what's up? Wanna hang out later? Informal writing is common in social media, text messages, and friendly emails. It's essential to recognize and evaluate it properly. Let's break down some key characteristics of informal writing. 1. Contractions, such as I'm instead of I am or there instead of they are. 2. Slang and idioms, phrases like break a leg or hit the sack. 3. Short sentences, often used to create a casual tone. 4. Personal pronouns like I, you, and we. Recognizing these features helps in understanding and appreciating the context of informal language. Informal writing isn't suitable for all contexts. Here's a quick guide. Use it in friendly emails, social media posts, or personal blogs. Avoid it in formal essays, business reports, and academic papers. Balance is key. Know when to be casual and when to be formal. When evaluating informal writing, consider the following. 1. Context. Is the informal language appropriate for the audience? 2. Clarity. Is the message clear despite the use of slang or colloquial expressions? 3. Consistency. Is the informal tone maintained throughout the writing? 4. Creativity. Does the informal language add character and voice to the writing? These aspects help in a fair and thorough assessment. And that's a wrap on evaluating informal English writing. I hope you've enjoyed this friendly journey into the casual side of the English language. Remember, informal writing is not incorrect. It's just different. It's all about knowing when and how to use it. Keep practicing, and soon you'll master the art of writing both formally and informally. Happy learning!